If you sat next to this man on a bench, would you trust him not to hurt you? Of course you would, because we trust ourselves. Because in our heads, our perceptions of people are perfect. Well now, every so often, a child is actually born with an extraordinary sense of perception. Someone who can separate their thoughts from their opinions. But if this world were to ever recognize this particular child's talent, people would have to do something they have never done before. Admit that the entire way they think is wrong. is going to locate a heart from a brain, two kidneys, and yes, the stomach. Sid? Sid! I'm not going to explain this a second time. Do you understand? Now take off your hood and pay attention. <laughs> and so, the tendons connect themselves to the bones. Now this Do boy said he had a bully that just muscles. wouldn't quit with all the pig and teeth. Hey, city, you connect tendons to your bone? <laughs> <laughs> But what bullies forget is that one day, every dog's going to bite back. <coughs> Sid, you just couldn't stop testing me now, could you? You just bought yourself some detention. Now, let's get into groups of two. Once you're in your groups, come get a frog, a knife, and six labeling pins. with anybody? No. Good. Because I got a present for you. Bam. You're Sid, right? I'm Charles. Sad. You like how money you like me? <laughs> no, I was just... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, man. We used to be friends, but something happened to her. And she just changed the whole look and she just don't talk to nobody no more. But then again, I changed my look too and nobody talks to me, so what do I know, right? I'm sorry, you want in on this? Oh, uh, no, I'm fine. Uh, he's all yours. Okay. Don't cut me, please! <laughs> <laughs> right? Yo, sorry about earlier with Kurt. I really don't know why he does that. I mean, the dude is 19 years old and he's still in high school. Well, hold on. You're about to cut a muscle. Let me try. <laughs> Done. How did you do that so fast? Uh, I guess I just see things differently. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Did you know that Mr. Gabriel has only worn three shirts this entire year? And that this girl right here, she acts like she's sick every time there's a group assignment? And there's three crickets, two spiders, two scout and ants in this room, and the spiders are girls. You gotta tell me more. Waiter, 
I got detention, remember? Text me later about the assignment. Margie. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Nah, you didn't you didn't scare me. Did you follow me out here? Yeah. I followed you here from school. I don't think so. Can I sit next to you? Yeah, sure. You know, um, I noticed you were looking at me in class today. Looking at you? It's okay. I look at you too sometimes. I'm sorry about what happened today. I'm used to it. Yeah, but you shouldn't have to be. You didn't really come out here for me, did you? No. Sorry to disappoint you. This is where I always come to get away from the noise and the people. Life kind of sucks sometimes, you know? Except for when you're out here. Are you planning on killing yourself? Why would you say that? You don't know anything about me. Do I look like some emo girl to you? No, no, it's just... Uh, I say that because... I know, I, I've been there before. I know what you're doing because... I've been there myself once. You know, I've thought about it. I mean, do you not think guys make fun of me for the way I look? Then how do we get away from it? From all the people and critics and people teasing you. You don't. A anywhere you go, people are gonna find a way to make you feel bad for the way you look. Yeah. You're right. About everything, actually. This really was supposed to be my last day. I, I don't, I don't get it. I'm, unless you really don't know what you look like. Can you hold me? 
hold you. Yeah. Hold me. Make me feel better. I'm not gonna hurt you. Just lay next to me. Put your head on my shoulder. Get some rest. I'll wake you up in a little bit. I promise I won't kill myself. Damn it, Sid! Get those stupid chips off your shoulder. You want to get expelled? Expelled? Yes, expelled. Do you have a problem with that? I asked you if you have a problem with that. Do you have a problem with that? Asking me if I have a problem with being expelled? Sid. This 25 year old man whispers in my ear every fucking day, and you're asking me if I have a problem? Dude, sit down. You're not gonna do shit, just sit down. I'm in the forest. Something bad happened while I was sleeping. What? What? What, what happened? I'm in huge trouble, okay? My dad can never find out about this. Trust me, I'm not saying anything to him. Look, maybe if you go to sleep, that might help it. Sorry. No. No, that's it. I can see behind that bush. Oh. I don't want any trouble. Oh, I, I didn't I didn't see anything. I was just leaving. Oh, hey, 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 I, I, I didn't see anything either. Oh my god. Is, is, is that a girl? It's not what it looks like. What did you do to her? Is she dead? No, I didn't kill her. Oh, that's even worse. Oh. Look, I, I'm, I'm not gonna say anything. Just don't hurt me. I didn't hurt her, okay? <clears throat> I fell asleep, and when I woke up, she was knocked down on the ground, all right? Okay, I didn't do anything. Do you know someone who can help her? What? You don't think I could help her? Well, I don't know. I, wouldn't you already be helping her? Well, maybe I thought you were gonna kill me. All right then, can you help? Well, probably not. Don't touch me. Sorry, I just, I have a thing about being touched, all right? No, 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 I, I, I understand, you know. Handsome boy like you doesn't wanna be touched by someone like me. Although, 
I'm not the one dragging the dead girl down to the lake. She's not dead. Oh, well, if she's not dead, then why don't you put her out of her misery? All I'm saying is, you either put her out of her misery, or you drag her back into town. But either way, you better hurry, because they're going to be looking for you. you to come home. Are you going to stand there and tell us why you're home so late? Sit down. It's 8 o'clock at night. Where have you been all day? Mr. Gabriel kept me after school for detention. You had detention until 8 o'clock at night. What'd you do? Kill somebody? No, I didn't kill anybody. So what'd you do this time? A kid stuck me with a pen. A kid stuck you with a pen? And you got detention? Well, gosh golly. That doesn't seem very fair. Your mama had her tongue cut out. Maybe she should go to jail for that. You think your mama should go to jail? No. I can't hear you. No, sir. It seems that there must be a bit more to the story. Now, I don't know why but my teacher always seems to give me a hard time for some reason. Your mama's been cooking for two hours, just for you. And that's a hard time. What do you say about that? Thank you, Mom. Thank you? Who said you're even going to get any of it? I'm going to your room. Go on! Your mind starts to do funny things under stress. Starts to make up things that might not have happened. But one thing this boy had to find out. What's he gonna do about little Margie? 
So, Sid, what happened? Because you didn't call me back last night. You was with Margie, wasn't you? Margie? Oh, how would you say that? Oh, calm down. I, I just thought that, you know, you guys were like on a date or something. You know she's not here today, right? No, I just, I got lost in the woods and freaked out a bit. Sorry I didn't call you back. <laughs> Fucking hate that damn guy. You know he calls me Charlie Pussyfoot? What does that even mean? Uh, they say that when people call you names, they're trying to control you by subliminally making it, making you act a certain way. Uh, you know, my dad said that one time. I'm tuning him out, though. Speaking of dads, my dad is not really a big fan of your dad. <laughs> what did he do this time? He wouldn't tell me, but he did tell me not to hang around you, though. Do you think we all turn out like our dads in the end? Uh, not if I can help it. I, I actually think I'm obsessed with not turning out to be like my dad. Charles, can I tell you something in confidence? Yeah, sure. Okay, yesterday, something did happen. I, I was with Margie, and, and we we were talking. And what? What happened? What y'all did? What y'all did? What y'all did? Shh, shh. Okay, this is in confidence. Stop. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, what happened? We started out talking. We we're talking for a little. And then I ended up taking a nap. You took a nap in the middle of talking to Margie? What are you, what, what? It's a long story, okay? Too much to explain. But when I woke up, she was on the ground and she was knocked out. Wait, hold on, well, was she like dead or something? I don't know, okay? I have no idea. I just woke up and she was there. Where is she right now? She's still up there. She's still up there. You left her up there, Sid. Are, are you insane? Yeah, okay. She was saying all these things about wanting to kill herself and how that was her last name. What's up, pussies? Why are you ignoring me? Hey, there's something I gotta know. Does it hurt when someone touches your face? Oh, come on, let me see what it feels like. Oh, you just hit me. You trying to pick a fight with me? No, nah, he doesn't want to fight you. Shut up, pussyfoot. I like this new shit. Get up. I'm going to give you a free hit. I'm being serious. But after that, I'm going to kick your ass. You gonna, you gonna throw your boyfriend's book at me? Oh my God, are you that uncoordinated? <laughs> Who did this? Sid did, I, I, I didn't lay a finger on him. Is this true? I warned you, Sid. Didn't I warn you? Now you're about to get expelled. Come oh. on. Naughty, naughty. We saw what you did. I think you need to come with us. Or we're calling the police. Milgram, he broke the window and then laughed it off.
We can't have this here. I'm sorry, but I'm asking that he be expelled. Has Sid had any history of fighting or vandalizing school property? This is his sixth detention this year. All right. I'd like to know about his home life. Are there any problems going on at home? That's a difficult question to answer. My son is, uh, has never done anything major. And he comes across as a, as a peaceful boy. But there are days when, how can I put this? <laughs> Sir, this is not a, a witch hunt. <laughs> We're just here to find the best solution for your son. So I need all the information I can get. Deep down, my son is a good boy and has never done anything malicious. But he has been picked on and, and teased and I feel like one day he's just gonna explode and God help whoever's in front of him. You see? Now, now hang on. My school board is gonna need stronger evidence than that. Mr. Young, has Sid had any reason to suddenly act out? What about all the times he's had detention? Sir, I'm sorry, I don't mean to sound like I'm trying to get rid of your son, but as you already know, he has repeatedly gotten into a lot of trouble. I know. Uh, Ma'am, what do you think? Uh, Mr. Milgram, she doesn't speak on account that her tongue has been cut out. Uh, did you just say cut out? Her tongue was cut out about a year ago while I was at work. All we know that it was uh, some homeless bum and, and had two homeless people with him. I'm so sorry, man. It's in the past and we've moved on. My husband told me about what you did yesterday. This man who was, uh... Masturbating? Yeah. He does that. A lot. If that makes you feel uncomfortable, think about how it makes me feel. We're married. By the way, you can call me Sue. I'm Sid. I should get going. I don't think you're in any position to be leaving right now. Here, try some of this. Go ahead. It's good, ain't it? Told you so. So how are you gonna get back at that boy that hurt you? How don't you know about that? You don't look big enough to bully kids. And you don't seem like the drug addict type. So why else you getting expelled from school? Yeah, but why else? <laughs> Somebody beat you up, and you took the blame for it, didn't you? Well, that bully picks on everyone, and no one does anything about it. Well, you got everything all figured out, don't you? Are you sure this is his fault and not yours? Why would it be mine? Seems odd for someone to get picked on for over a year and do nothing about it. Especially for someone who says, I, a lot. What can I do? He'd kill me. See, there you go again, saying, I. Come here, let me tell you a little secret. Sometimes things aren't always what they seem or what they don't seem. Thanks for the chicken, but I should get going. Whoever said it was chicken. So how is your relationship at home? Um, well, we don't speak very often. 
But I've tried to teach him what my dad had taught me about hard work and, and being honest and doing right by the Lord. And um, he's nothing like me. <sighs> well, nah. I'm gonna get some coffee. Would anyone else like some? Uh, no, thank you. Um, Mary dear, maybe you could help out the principal? Mr. Gabriel, you and I are both honest, hardworking men. May I be out in the open for a moment? Please, feel free to say anything. Ever since the day that boy was born, I have felt that this demon was given to this world. And I have been going crazy because I seem to be the only one that can see it. Now, I know it's not right for a father to talk about his, his son like this, but I just can't shake this feeling. You are not alone, sir. You are not alone. You know, the more I think about it, the more I'd hate to make a big fuss about this to the new school board members. You know, there's no need to expel anyone here. I think if we give Sid a little three-day suspension, he'll think twice before he uh, acts up again. <laughs> Mr. Gabriel, I have another meeting to go to, so uh, I'm gonna have to say my goodbyes. It was very nice meeting you. It's, uh, it's tough love, people, but it works. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Sid caught a bit of a break. It wasn't Principal Milgram's fault he had no backbone. People liked him. Good looks, no strong opinions, and a golden smile can take you far in this world. Can we cut the bullshit now? have a real conversation. We all know what you did. I didn't do anything. She was knocked out on the ground when I woke up. And I didn't want to take her back to town because, because I knew what people would do to me. Hey, get up. My husband's lazy, but he's good at fixing things. Husband? Yeah, I have two useless husbands. So what do you think? Did you want me to tell him about? No, not yet. Just tell him what to do about the girl. Well, seems like you got a couple choices. You can bury her, put her in the lake, or burn her. I'd say bury her and be done and over with it. She's still a person. I mean, you guys are talking about her like, like she's dead. That's because she's dead, right? Well, that's the thing. See, I'm not really sure. I don't know. She looked pretty dead to me. Why would you think she's not dead? I don't know. I just, I have this, this weird feeling. Well. If she's not dead, then I'm going back to sleep. Well, that's it? You guys call me out here to watch you guys eat and sleep and, and... Silly boy.
consider yourself lucky you only got suspended. There's only one school in this stupid town, so don't screw it up. He woke him up. He ain't asleep. Has anyone even asked Sid what happened? Maybe we're not hearing the whole story. Nobody breaks a window without a reason. I just heard little Marjorie Washburn from down the street. She was just murdered. Murdered? Missing murdered. It's all the same. You know, people in this town are going to flip out till somebody hangs for this. You know anything about what happened? What would I know about that? Where were you last night when me and your mom was busy seeing you get suspended? Well, I was here waiting for you. Sleep. You think I killed somebody? Never said you did. I was wondering if you knew anything. You knew her, didn't you? She lived about two blocks from us. I never went out that way. You know, you sniff your nose every time that you lie. I gotta go to work. Don't get in any trouble today. Those were heavy words about the town freaking out. People in a small town want blood for blood. And at this point, it didn't matter whose blood it was. What's up, Ted? Hey, so uh, what happened? Uh, Mr. Gabriel wanted me expelled, but I just got suspended. Nah, I was, I was talking about Margie. I left her body out in the woods, okay? I didn't know what to do with it. I swear to God, I didn't kill her, okay? I mean, you believe me, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. I believe you, but you know the town gonna wanna know what happened. But I don't know what happened, okay? I just woke up and she was on the ground. I mean, you know what they're gonna do if they find out. Who are you? Uh, this is my friend, Charles, sir. You have a friend? Well, listen here, friend. My son just got suspended from school. At this time, he can't have any friends. I don't want to see you back here, all right? You understand me? Yes, sir. Um, wait. You and Sid together last night? Mm, no, I was at home all day. You have an appointment with the school counselor today. Don't be late. Sid Young? Yeah? Go ahead and have a seat there. Thank you. So, your dad seemed very adamant about you coming to see me. Yeah, he can be like that. Hmm. Do you know why you're here? I'd like to find out if I'm dangerous. Smart boy. So are you? Are you afraid of me? And what reason would I have to be afraid of you, Sid? Do you think that people are naturally good on the inside? <laughs> Something funny? No, it's just the purpose of that question could be taken a few ways. 
thought it was pretty straightforward. Would you like to know... I mean, would you really like to know what I think? Sure. Listen, we've all done something selfish or malicious to get ahead. It's called self-preservation. Even the guy who killed Margie has done something kind or loving. We're all good and bad. So when you ask me, are people naturally good, you are forcing me to say that people are good. Because if I don't, I'd be expelled. So, let me ask you. What kind of stupid question was that? There is no need to become aggressive in here, Sid. Mrs. Erickson, you are making me out to be aggressive in your head because you're too scared to admit that you're being outwitted by a student. Whether you want to admit it or not, you are being aggressive, well, Sid. Well, I'd ask you to fix me, but I don't think you can. You see, if psychology worked, it would work. Maybe all the real scientists went into chemistry and physics, eh, Doc? The human brain is a lot more complex than the equation H2O. So why are you asking me all these simple questions that you seem to know the answers to? I believe our meeting is done here. I believe our meeting is done here. No, I believe we have 25 more minutes left. I'm sorry. I'll be good. Just ask me a good question and I'll answer the hell out of it. Okay. Uh, what's the meaning of life? You patronize me, but you're in luck. Because I'll tell you. I think we're a lot like ants. We eat, crap, sleep, have sex until all the food is gone. Excuse me. That's the secret. We're just a bunch of ants. We just eat more. That's a very grim outlook, young man. Hmm. What do we do that ants don't? Are you serious? Oh, I'm being dead serious. Convince me and I'm all yours. Well, we love. Every family I know fights all the time. We have a god. It's the same god the ants have. You know what? I have changed my mind. I think we are done here. Yeah. Yeah, that was him. I, uh, I don't know what to think. That was classmate number 12, Sid Young. I got everything up until his mother said nothing. Staring at your own house? <laughs> you know, the whole school thinks you kidnapped Margie because you weren't at school today. You know why I was suspended. I don't know. But the kidnapper's still out there. I probably stood right next to him and didn't even know it. You can never tell, right? See you around. Sid knew that violent people are always given a free pass to beat up guilty men. If Kurt ever found out what he did, Kurt and beat him to a bloody pulp, and the town would call him a hero. Guys, things have gotten really bad. Okay, I could, I could use some help. They always come back to us, don't they? 
Let me guess. I sent you to a counselor. Yeah, but I made sure she's never gonna talk to me again. That's my boy. But there was a detective at my house today. They know. They don't know nothing. That's why they're going from house to house, talking to people. But what if they start to search the lake? I think we should pull her body out and bury her. Why don't you have some tea first? I don't want any tea. Oh, but you'll eat a baby? I didn't eat a fucking baby. Be a shame if a certain someone just popped up somehow. Sit down. You need to relax. The police are obviously going to ask questions. That's their job. Now you give it a month or two, and it'll all be forgotten. He's right. People overreact to what's happening right now. In a month, they'll overreact to the next big thing. Soon it'll all be forgotten. Yeah, but what if it isn't? What if they start searching the lake? It ain't gonna go that far. And I have an idea that will take care of everything. Well, what's your idea? Why can't we just do it now? No. Not just yet. Because once I tell you, there's no going back. Speak of the devil. This here is Detective Rogers, and I understand you know Kurt. Son, we found out that Margie Washburn is missing. This boy Kurt, he said he's seen you talk to her. I'd appreciate any information you could give us. Uh, I have spoken to her, but I barely knew her. Where were you right now? I fell in some water. What water? If you don't mind, sir. So did you see Margie Washburn two days ago? No. Uh-huh. So did you see her when you were in school that day? Oh, yeah, I did see her in class. Right. So did you see her after school, walking home? Uh, I don't remember. She walked your way home, right? Well, he, he didn't see her because he had detention. Right, I, I had detention that day. And then he came over to my place. We play catch. Sir, can I bother you for a glass of water? Sure. And you? I'm just gonna ask you to get out. this is? It's a scale. Over here, you have everything that's true. And over here, you have everything that's bullshit. Now, when I get back to the office and weigh this out, there's more bullshit than the truth. Get the 
Ford Slammer, huh? A detective. The question you seem to be beating around the bush to get to is, did I kill that girl? Well, I can assure you that I did not. I mean, I barely knew the girl. Wish I had. She was kind of cute. And that's the truth. I do appreciate this, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I gotta get going. Not a problem. Appreciate your time. I think it's been a whole lot of nothing here. If you boys let me know, something comes up. I'll walk you out. Sure. You are not to leave this house and get out of those wet clothes. All right. Goodbye, sir. You owe me, Sid. I don't owe you anything. I stuck up for you. And you know what I want? I want you to take me to where you put Marge's body. When we saw her last, I followed you. What do you say, Sid? I just want to see her, that's all. If you killed her, I know you did it by accident. So not like a pussy like you could actually kill somebody on purpose. I didn't do anything. This is March's hair. You old bastard, I knew it. You did do it. Where is she? David, you're a murderer. Okay, just so this town is gonna do to you once they find this out. They're gonna torture you. Take me to her body or I'll tell the police about this hair. Okay, just let me go. She's by the lake. There's a lake. You guys friends now? It's none of your business. Come on, Sid. Just go home. What's the problem? Uh, this is where the lake used to be, but it's gone. <sighs> this is some kind of joke. I've taken you this far. Why would I lie to you, okay? This is exactly where I put Marge's body. <coughs> well, I I'm sorry. I'm just saying, just, just find her. I don't know where to look, okay? Someone must have taken her body. You're lying. Nobody knows the true details of that murder, but we all know that boy, Kurt, had it coming from someone. And whoever said revenge is a dish best served cold hadn't tasted a good hot meal.
I know you didn't have a choice. He was going to kill me. I mean, he said he was going to kill me. Yeah, but I still don't think you should have killed him. Of course you don't. You're afraid to stand up to anybody. What's done is done, I guess. Welcome to the club, Sid. You're one of us now. We only have one rule up here, though. Don't you ever be bringing any strangers around here. It's just us. You understand me? Well, that's it then. We have a pact. We're all in this together, and we're safe if it's only us that's up here. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Can I ask you a question? Um, how did it feel when you killed that boy today? Did it feel good? What kind of question is that? I want to know. So did it? It didn't feel good to kill someone. But it felt good to kill Kurt. I guess the real question is, would you do it again? I feel horrible for saying this, but I think I could kill Kurt every day for the rest of my life. Do you think God will ever forgive me for that? Well, I don't know much about God, forgiveness, but I felt like something's been watching over me before. Have you ever felt that? Yeah, but not today. I really screwed up. I wish this would have never happened. Can't we just do your idea? The one that would make everything go away? I don't ever want to think of what I did today again. Wait. Oh, I have to go. Where's he going? He still thinks he's one of them. He still thinks there's a tiny chance that the world still cares about him. But he's one of us now. He just doesn't know it. I thought I told you never to come here again. I know, but I got it. I got to tell you something about Sid. At 12 o'clock at night? Listen, something bad just happened, but it wasn't Sid's fault. What did he do? I don't know the whole story, but I, I just know that he really needs you right now. I mean, he needs his dad. I appreciate your concern, but he's in his bed asleep right now. No, no, he's in the forest. I, I just saw him. I, I was just there. Come here. They know. They're gonna find out. They're not gonna find out. You don't know that. Don't talk to me like that, all right? I'm trying to help you. I don't know if I can go through with the rest. What do you mean you can't go through with it? Kurt was one thing, okay? Of course he was, he needed to go. Okay, but my teacher, and now you're talking about my dad. Do you remember what Kurt used to call you? He called me a pussy. Exactly. Now what's he call you? He doesn't call me anything. Why is that? Because he's gone. So who's next?
Is someone here? I'm calling the police now. You don't want to do that. Sid, what are you doing here at 8 o'clock at night? I'm a good student. What can I say? You can't be here. You're suspended. What is that? Somebody's pushing a body into a lake. Is this you? It's not mine. I've been suspended, remember? Sid, I've tried so hard to help you. But you've left me no choice. This is a police matter now. What are you gonna tell them? That I was vandalizing school property with a pencil? Mr. Gabriel, please, put the phone down. What are you gonna do? This is real, Sid. Can't you see I'm trying to help you? I've kept you after school to keep you safe. Oh yeah? So what, I should, I should say thank you then? Those other kids pick on you. We both know they're not gonna stop. I think the best thing to do is to get you to a new school. Yeah, cause heaven forbid you kick Kurt out. I was perfectly fine just sitting there minding my own business, not bothering no one. But you kept picking on me, and picking on me. You made me like this. If you sat there doing nothing, you'd be no better than an ant, right? You know, if I got rid of you, I'd be doing a whole lot of people good service. Phone's gone, Sid. Why don't we just go home? I won't say anything about this to anyone. This is real. Why do you keep telling me it's real? I know this may not seem like it now. Sometimes people aren't what they appear to be. And the better they are at their job, the harder they are to spot. I don't need you protecting me from the world. I'm not protecting you from the world, Sid. I'm protecting the world from you. Sorry. I don't mean to be like this. I mean, I'm, I'm really trying. I'm really trying to be good. But things, things keep happening. I know, son. I know. Where were you tonight? I thought I was in biology class. I'm not sure anymore. I, I feel like someone else is writing my own story. Like someone else is controlling me. I need help, Charles. Am I losing my mind? No, 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 no. You're not. Just, just, just get some sleep. All right. I'm see what I can do tomorrow. Just in, two days after the disappearance of Margaret Washburn, fellow student Kurt Lewis has gone missing. In the town, mobs of people are outraged over the lack of concern over the person of Kurt Lewis and Margaret Washburn in the city. In the... Damn, Sid. Your friend was worried about you last night. He said he saw you in the forest. Is that true? Uh, I didn't see him anywhere. Hmm. That Kurt boy, now the other day, he, he vouched for you. What were you two really doing? We were playing catch. You don't own a club. We were playing catch, all right? Excuse me? I said we were playing catch, sir. Thank you. Jesus. I have to ask you 20 damn times for one answer. Then just ask me what you want to know. Stop trying to be this detective father. You're not good at it, okay? Just ask me. Did your son kill two people? 
That's what you want to know, right? All I know is that something has changed this week. You've been different. If you need help, I'll hire a real psychologist or a lawyer. Have you ever thought, why would someone want to punish the boys getting picked on? I mean, does it even cross your mind to, to, to get my side of the story? I'm always asking you questions. I'm always asking you questions. Yeah, detective questions that accuse me of something. I mean, I don't even know why you ask. Because you, you think you know everything. And that's why no one in this town likes you. We're gonna finish this tonight. You ain't gonna leave the house today. Thanks for coming over. Uh, I'm not allowed to leave the house today. I was very surprised that you called me. I was too. Is everything okay? I got in a fight with my dad today. I yelled at him. I've never done that before. And I feel like I'm having these lapses I can't remember anything from an hour ago other than being by a lake. And I rarely ever sleep. Loss of sleep could sometimes mean you have feelings of guilt. Can I tell you something in confidence? Well, sure. I, I mean, in real confidence. Uh, you have to promise that you're not going to tell anyone because if you don't, I'd rather not tell you. Okay. I promise. A couple days ago, a couple days ago, I woke up next to Margie Holland's dead body by the lake. But I didn't kill her. Okay, I swear it. She was killed when you were asleep? Yeah. And you swear you didn't do it? That's what I'm telling you. Okay, that's how confident I am. Sid, do you have a history of narcolepsy or sleepwalking or? Even multiple personalities? Now, I understand why you're asking that question, but no. I've never had any of those. Sid, do you remember what you said to me in our last meeting? Not really. I have to say, you are a completely different person right now, Sid. I'm not accusing you of anything, but sometimes, People, they invent different personalities out of guilt or sometimes to hide from something. No, it's not that. It's something different, but I just can't figure out what it is. Sid. Sid, have you ever hurt someone else? I think I need some air. No, wait, you want to go to the lake, am I right? You feel safe there, don't you? Yeah, kind of. Sid, you know there's no lake, right? Of course there is, I've been there. I want you to close your eyes and take me to this lake.
this is all in your head, Sid. This is where you go to think. Are you saying they're not real? Oh, they're real. Just not how you think they are. She needs to go, Sid. That's a red folder from your office. Do you know these people? Are y'all in on this together? This is your brain. That's your id. And your ego. And your super ego. She shouldn't be here. She really shouldn't be here. One's impulsive, and one likes to fix things, and one tells the other whether they're right or wrong. Correct? Sid. Go get your knife. This woman, she's got to go. Now. Don't do it, Sid. You need to control every part of your brain. You had one rule to follow, Sid. This one rule. This is bad, real bad. You need to make a decision right now, Sid. Who are you? Sid? Sid? Stop! I'm proud of you, Sid. You made the right decision. And when you're ready to come and talk to me again, I'll be here. You're not a bad person. I'm not a bad person. I'm not a bad person. Of course you're not. People have been torturing you your whole life. They gave you no choice. And if it wasn't you, they would have been teasing somebody else. I need you guys to leave. You need us, Sid. Everyone's been making fun of you and teasing you. Except for us. We take care of each other here. Yep. It's all done now. It's, everything is clean now. You see? Wait. You still want him to do your plan, don't you? I think it's time. No. <laughs> Everything is clean. He doesn't have to kill anyone else. There's no going back from this. Your father doesn't like you, Sid. He's going to turn you into the police, and you know that. His own son. There's no other way, Sid. You've got to take care of him. And then everything will be fixed. <sighs> I spoke to him like you asked me to do. It's, it's not that. I saw him kill Kurt. I, I was hiding behind some bushes, and I saw him. And I think he did something to our biology teacher. And I think you might be next. People in this town thought they'd seen everything. But that was before the day the monster came. His head was missing a jaw, and its eyes were missing, and fingers cut off. It was as if whoever did this to him wanted this man to never communicate again. Call the police. This has got to end the day. We need to talk, boy.
Oh, I'm gonna ask you this one time. Did you kill those kids? I didn't kill Margie. And the teacher? You only ask questions that you know the answer to. No, I've stood up for you for 16 years. Please, don't call the police. I'm sorry. I knew that this moment would come. Don't call the police. Oh, you'll do what? Kill me? You gonna be a man and kill your daddy? Go ahead. Cause I ain't gonna fight back. I never laid a hand on you. And I never will. You're my son. You never liked me. You put a label on me. And I had no choice but to act out what you, what you thought of me. You could have been anybody at that lake. It looks like I chose you. No, you didn't. You're going to tell everybody that. And you're going to tell them that you, you hated your daddy. He's awful to you. You get everybody's pity. But one day, one day you'll remember that I loved you. I spent every moment trying to take care of my family. And you spent every chance to not be like me. You made me like this! Yeah. Like your teacher, and your friends, and your counselor. It's everyone's fault but yours. How did it feel to slice a man's eyes out of his head? Officer. <clears throat> I, I would like to uh, turn to my son. He, he killed Kurt Lewis with a wooden branch. I'm sorry, son. I'm here for you, Mr. Young. You're under arrest. Place your hands behind your back. Now, me? I don't want to make this any harder than it needs to be. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent, man. He's a killer. I wasn't near those kids. Just go. So the town finally found their token villain. Unfortunately, it was me. And that's the whole story, from beginning to end. So that was you who was born in the hospital that day? Yep. Scarred since the day I was born. Mr. Young, you're saying that your son killed that girl by accident and slaughtered the second one in self-defense, that boy, and carved the third into a monster, but that one was on purpose. Yes, uh, although I'm not exactly sure about the girl. I have to say, your story is very detailed. Mr. Young, take a look at this picture and tell me what you see. I see a nice boy, but a boy that has done some ugly, ugly things. I think I understand now. This is the boy from your story. And this is how 
you see him. Your mind has made him into a monster because of what you thought he did. Just like everyone else in your story, your wife, the teacher, they've all been changed into how you see them. This is how he looks to the rest of the world. This is the real Sid. I know my son. Mr. Young, you're not with him every minute of the day. You have no idea what goes on in his mind. Only he does. Each of us has his own little world up here. Castles, gardens, lakes, worlds you will never be able to see. And besides, I don't think this nice looking boy is capable of such ugly, heinous things. I know I wasn't there to see every second of his life, but I know what happened. Yes, because of your special ability to see things for what they really are, right? It's more complicated than that. But yes, would you please get these ants out of my shirt? There are no ants in your clothing. Mr. Young, did you know that Miss Margie Washburn returned to her family yesterday. Teenage drama, perhaps. Wait, so that was all in Sid's brain then? That, that's why I couldn't tell he was telling a lie. So can I, can I go now? Oh no, Mr. Young. You're a long way from recovery. But you should have known that. Seen as that you have superpowers, right? But everything I said is true. You're being outsmarted by a 16 year old boy. You're smarter than that, Doc. Um, is Sid home? Sid hasn't been home in a week. Um, I left something in his room. You mind if I go get it? Margie Washburn, who has been missing for a week, returned home yesterday. Police say she was actually two cities over and was... I saw Sid kill Kirk Lewis. And I'm ready to go on record now. And I think she is, she is ready too. Mrs. Young, are you ready to go on record? Mrs. Young, cat got your tongue? No, I can talk. And I think I'm ready. Let me tell you everything I know about my son. Sid's father was right about everything. He had all the answers. But nobody bothered to ask him the questions. And I believe every story Sid told me about him, both of them, right in front of me, and I had no idea who either of them were. 
another great visionary will come again. But I wonder if we'll just pass them by too, because we all want that person so badly to be us. Stop it. Not a problem. You from down south? Yeah, sure am. I was there not too long ago. I can't say I enjoyed my visit. Oh. Oh. 